There you go. Check and make sure we are over. Let me check it. Check it real quick. Should be good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Shalom. Shalom. With the Jim Mess Louisa and the Saints coming back at you with another quick sit down. Prior to getting started, as we always do, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the items that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video be out of fine, first and foremost, to the whole feet elect, then to those that cleave to the body. And man, the brothers was breaking bread today on, um, just you know, uh, discretion, all right, the way that we utilize it, all right, how we give it out concerning making judgment calls, all right, because judgment is a pivotal part that we play in this truth, man, all right, judgment reflects the body, it reflects you, all right, and ultimately reflects the word of Yahweh Bashim that was So we're going to go through a few precepts, all right, basically ordering it right, all right, ordering judgment right, because again, judgment is a crucial and pivotal part. And that how we execute, all right, in this truth, man. All right, it ain't it, it ain't your judgment, all right. It's how the Lord judged it and set it up. Okay, so we're gonna come out with it, man. And again, the name of the lesson gonna be an evil suspicion overthrows judgment, man. All right, so we bring it out. Right? This is Sirach chapter 3, verse 24. Yep. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil judgment hath overthrown vision. It's like and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Right. But the point it says many are deceived. We know in Jeremiah 17 and 9 it says the heart is uh deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? All right. A lot of men hearts, hearts is not ordered right. It's not ordered according to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. It's ordered according to their own belly, man. All right. Which caused them to make mistakes. All right. They really ain't put them in positions to where they, you know, they're not being careful, man. All right. Now, considering being careful is to make sure we stick into sound doctrine. All right. We're not uh, uh, adding, taking away from the scriptures. All right. We just living within an embodiment that's already been given us and following the guidelines, man. All right. Not straying to the left, nor to the right, man. Right. Winging anything. And no winging shit. All right. Because that's another, that's, that's a beautiful point that you mentioned. Because that's another thing. And if you wing something, that's an evil suspicion, man. All right? You you suspect it in your mind. It, you know, this can be, this can go with the doctrine. Like, no, everything that needs to go with the doctrine is already for the doctrine. It's written in the scriptures. My bad. And ultimately, secular history, right? It Secular history adds to the Bible. The Bible don't add to secular history. You see? Meaning what? The words of the scriptures are, are the concrete evidence that actually proves that man all right the other way around oh you know vice versa you see i'm sorry verse 26 come on, come on, come on, I, come on. I just want to make one more point all right it says for many are deceived by their own vain opinion and we all know opinion is like an acid everybody got one just like everybody got this urge you know these big kahunas to want to be the many all right but what's happening is you're overthrowing yourself man you're, you're digging yourself a grave you're burying yourself alive, man. All right? Because ultimately, you're going to fall in a pit, and that pit going to be too deep for you to get out. It says that an evil suspicion had overdrawn that, thrown their judgment. And we as men of the law got to exercise discretion in all our matters. It's tell you, it tell you in Proverbs, he that handled it in a matter wisely shall find good. Well, you got it out. This is verse 26 in Surah 3. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the end, at the last. And he that loveth danger shall perish therein. Read 25, uh, kind, kind. and go to 26. This is Surah 3 and 25. Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Mm -hmm. Without what? Without eyes, thou shalt want light. Right, so you will want to see something that you believe you have, man. All right? Or uh, That's, again, that's a suspicion. Like, I, sus I suspect that, you know, if I do it this way, right, I could come out on a better end. I could feed my spirit better. Like, nah, the scriptures... In assess what our uh, spirit to feed us, man. 
we feed, we already got what we need. We got the ingredients, we have our food. All we gotta do is eat it, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all we gotta do. Okay, that's just like you bring the dog the food in the morning. All he gotta do is eat his food, huh? all right? The master bring him the food, it's in the bowl, he got the water right there. You see, go ahead. If I could say, and, and what do you have with the dog? A structure set up. The dog lives in the house and the owner gets the food and gives it gives it to the That's dog. That's right. Hey, the, the structure in this house of GMS has already been set up. Built. You got camps that you, you, you can come to and learn from. And all you got to do is just come to it and learn it and feed off the word. You don't have to start leaning under your own understanding or be, or having a stubborn heart or mine having a vain opinion trying to trying to come in a, another way or do things differently they just follow the script and it's a beautiful thing to come into a structure that's already set up they most of the legwork's been done and all and you can and what you can do is just learn and, and add on to it and be a, a benefit an asset to it that's right go ahead it said uh without oh. yeah yeah the, the, the rest yeah huh. without eyes thou shalt want light profess not the knowledge thereof that thou hast not right because that's again that's my is my trickery on you because you're thinking you're thinking to be some wise one or that you you know you're on some type of level it'll cause you to start professing things that you don't have man all right uh, again winging shit man all right like i, I know the scripture the way i i could do it how i won't do it i got a lot of bit i took that route right yeah i got a little bit knowledge so now you feel the need to all right i can maximize it if i do my own thing you you don't want to come in in the order or in a fashion of which you gotta come in the truth, join 10 and 1, man. All right, there's a way to get built up and get on your own. What you see men built up, that was that was, it was laid work behind that, man. Mm -hmm. All right, it was weightlifting and running drills, going up hills with tires on, etc. And I'm using all my analogies of you know, I train you train, you know, for the football season, off season, and the off season activities. They got something called all season activities that y'all cannot know about. All right, and um, you know, all season training and particular things, but that's leg work. Would you see men getting busy like that? Be you know, in front of this camera, whatever the you know the case may be. That's because they've been putting in that work, guy. Right? You know, doing it, doing it the right way, man. Follow the the sacrifice script. and filing the script, man. Because wherever you see a great thing at, it's it's required of great sacrifice behind it, man. Kobe Bryant is a testament of that. Jordan, would you read how these men what they used to do? You hear a great sacrifice from him. Go ahead, bro. Verse 26. A stubborn heart or mind. And what does it mean when you're stubborn? You're hard-headed. You, you're hard stuck in your ways. Mm -hmm. You think you know it all to think you has that thinks you have all the answers. And as I said, as the brother brought out earlier with that Jeremiah 17 and 9, the, the heart or the mind is is deceitful above all things. Who can know it? Yeah. If you start leaning under your own understanding and not following the script, hey, that's when you that's when you start wavering off that straight path and going into that wide path. And as it's about to say, shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. And that danger just just doesn't have to be physical danger; it can be spiritual danger as well. You love it the danger of leaning under your own understanding, thinking you have it, and hey. It'll, it'll, as it says, you shall perish at the end. You don't want to get along to go along? Well, hey, and you're going to get dealt with accordingly. Come on, go, go, go to 27. 27. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall keep sin upon sin. Right. Read it again, my bad. Uh, Sirach 3 and 27. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows. Yeah, that's a headstrong, a willful heart, man. All right, refusing to change your opinion or chosen course of action, man. All right, and despite attempts to persuade one to do so, so no matter how a man correcting you or trying to throw you on a path, that's what the word obstinate means. It means stubbornly refusing, uh, yeah. yeah, to change one's opinion. And remember, it read in 3 and 24 that many are deceived by their own vain opinion. See, the scriptures is telling us what to do. It says stubbornly refusing to change one's opinion or chosen course of action, meaning he's set in his mind, man. He hates strong. Uh, you got a great example of somebody who hates strong is Russell Westbrook. That's why he's getting killed right now from people. Like he's all out of like and he don't want to change what he's doing. He don't want to get bitched, but he don't want to stop turning the ball over, man. It's like what you killing us. The keep knowing that you're hurting us. All right. And then when we sit you down. For you to understand what you're doing, then you bickering. All right, like it's like, what are we doing, man? 
All right? It says, despite attempts to persuade one to do so, man. <laughs> you know, very difficult to change or overcome, man. All right? Unrelenting. Single-minded. It's a bloody-minded. <laughs> you know, but you got something else? No, no, I'm looking for one. You're looking for one? Come. Oh, uh, a bloody mind. You got a lot of danger shall perish. Yeah, kind of stuck, stuck mind. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 a strong head will, man. If it's not according to righteousness, and if it's according to your own way, you're gonna die, man. You're gonna die. The Lord gonna kill you because that's not the way the Lord set you up. He set this thing up for order and for order's sake, man. All right, to do things decently and in order. Mm -hmm. One who is strong, he gonna constantly kick against the pricks, man. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh shine with that, man. All right, go ahead. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, yep. and the wicked man shall keep sin upon sin. Yeah, he gonna get worse and worse, man. All right? He gonna just keep getting worse and worse. And the more, if he egged on, I ain't like, don't let nobody be commenting him. No, you're doing your thing. Oh, oh. man, Jay gonna, Jay gonna go out the window, man. All right? Jay gonna start bucking up against you know authority, which he already do, you know. But again, so evil suspicion is overthrowing your judgment, and we know we are bounded by judgment in this truth, man. It bounds us, all right. It's the foundation. It's set apart because at the end of the day, judgment is the ultimate thing. That's why the Lord, the way the Lord executes judgment, is real particular. You see, he sometimes he weighed it out. Sometimes it's instant. Sometimes it's Right after, sometimes in uh, different uh, reincarnations, you know what I'm saying? It's all different, man. Go ahead, out. Keep going. Nah, -uh, that's it in that. Give me a uh, Sarah 21 and 12. Yeah, then I'm, I believe you're you holding that. Yeah, Sarah 21 and 12. Uh, yeah, Sirach 21 12. And it says, uh, He that is not wise will be. My bad, read it again. Sirach. Uh, 21 12. He that is not wise will, my bad, he that is not wise will not be taught. Yep. But he that is, but but there is a wisdom which multiplied bitterness. Right, because that's a wisdom you took up on your own self. So now that wisdom gonna multiply bitterness into you, man. Because you're not, you don't want to be taught, man. You're already self taught. All right. Who, what man in the scriptures was self taught, man? All right, <laughs> you know, nobody dealt with them. Like that ain't even, you know, that's not even the order in which the scriptures was like, you know, men deal with men to build them up, get them up, man. All right. But it says there's a wisdom that multiplies bitterness. It's gonna start to become bitter. The wisdom is gonna start working against you, man. All right. And wisdom is uh rough. And uh what it what it what it kind of saying on like chains and it's uh yeah, man. It's it's uh it deals with you rough, man. All right. And it says if you hey, wisdom is gonna deal with you and try you for a time. And if you if you can't deal with those chains, hey, it's gonna gonna cast you off. It's gonna cast you off, man. All right. It's gonna and it's gonna multiply that bitterness into you, man. Hey, like you know? chain chains are bitterness. Yeah. Like chains is it's gonna weigh you down and break it. They not comfortable, man. Heavy chain, heavy chains uh, is not it's something sweet. it's not comfortable at all, man. Yeah. Oh cold, the cold and heavy. Gun. The person that weigh you down, go ahead. In verse 19. Doctrine under fools is as fetters on That's the feet and like manacles on the right hand. Right. Because that, that fool believed that the doctrine that he has in teaching, he's showing himself as some great one, man. All right. Again, then what it, what it does, evil suspicion overthrow men's judgment. It'll have a man want to go out on a limb. It'll start to make him get a false sense of confidence, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the scriptures speak about not being confident in a plain way. All right. Overbearing. All right, why? Again, and again, you shouldn't want to be alone as we speak about that, teaching it. You should want help, man. You should want help, man. At the end of the day, the reason why, the reason why you should you should aid or, or look for a body within your hour by shimmy hour shy, because the body helps, yeah. helps the uh the working parts in it, man. The effectual working in the body, which goes to uh Ephesians 4. All right, and again. If you by yourself and you thinking you got the doctrine, you locked in this thing, all right? Who gonna tell you you got a demon on you? Who what? But when you're in the body, a brother can say, listen, bro, that ain't the way the scriptures go. You got what? Men to reprove you, rebuke you. Again, 
you got an evil suspicion, it'll always overthrow your judgment. But men around you, if you in the truth, they're not going to let you overthrow your judgment. In other words, like, whoa, like, nah, I, that ain't the way we teach it. That's not how we taught it. You're going to have somebody there to reprove you and, and check you. Hey, look, bro, that's off, all right? Somebody got to tell you got a demon on you, right? or you ain't going to know. You see? Go ahead. And even then, you got to be in the, the right spirit to accept it. That's right. You can't be obstinate or hard-headed. You yep. got to read verse 15. Yeah, go ahead. Right, break it down. If a skillful man hear a wise word. You know something else, too? When you feel you got you to gotta dive into uh, rebuke, too, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. I got a couple of pre that go and yeah. done. Like, if you keep being, uh, you know, like, like uh, with that, you know, with that like that, or being with strong headed, you're going to get judged for it, you know? Yeah. This is a Sirach 21 15. If a, skillful, if a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it. And that, that comes with uh, being in the body, and as you were saying, hearing the rebuke as well, God. Uh, being being in the in the in the right spirit to accept it and, and build upon it, as it's about to say, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him, and he casteth it behind his back. Hey, if you're not in the right spirit, you want to be in that obstinate, stubborn spirit, and hey, you're gonna hear it and you're gonna cast it behind your back because for one. And you're not you're not coming in the right way, and and if you're leaning under your own vain understanding, you think you got it all already. What 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 can man tell me? You're not looking at the bigger picture that this is the words and the and the rebukes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai coming through these men to to tell you these things and 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 try to make you better and hope you accept it to get on the right path. But if you don't want to hear it, you're gonna cast it behind your back. And as we got in that uh Sirach chapter three, hey, dangers the only uh perishing is the only thing you have to look forward to that's right okay you got you got something else yeah, I got oh, one. that was it i got one real fast this is first corinthians 14 and 39 it says well for brethren uh cut it to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues let all things be done decently and in order you got it you got it my bad you got, you got i was looking at the comment but we'll read it again my bad it is uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 39. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak in tongues, that all things be done decently and in order. Right. And and again, when you go to prophesy, which is, you know, if, you know one of the greatest gifts, I, a, it says to let it be done decent and in order, man. All right. The arrangement of prophecy is set already. All right, prophecy. When you uh, you uh, reading um, I believe it's First Corinthians fifteen. Is uh, is an exaltation. All right, is uh, is as management. All right, it's to say before. All right, all these things make up the whole embodiment of prophecy, man. All right, and all the things in the scriptures is already there. All we got to do is read the words of prophecy, man, and prophecy fulfills itself. Go ahead. And I want to go back up in the same chapter, to verse thirty-three, where it says, says the ground rules everything. Is uh thirty verse thirty three in First Corinthians fourteen it says for the Most High is not the art of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Yeah, yeah, the altar, as in all the churches of the saints, man. The finish he so peace should be coming through, man. All right, that's a rule, uh, a, a, a rule spirit, man. All right, that's a rule spirit to come in and and and, and believe you this, you this, you know this outspoken one. Or had a mindset of, you know, this me thing. Yeah, you got five precepts, and I can finish. break it down a different way. You know, these brothers are different. You different? Like, nah, man. Listen, we all we are we are we we have uh we are similarly and similar we 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 similar. All right, with indifferences. In other words, man. All right, we differ, but we still together, man. All right, and we're only different attributes. And sizes, man. All right, but still, we still together. So we make all that coincide and ready trying to what stick out, man. We rather what come in together and assemble, all right, than to what break apart and be uh uh vulnerable, all right, create vulnerability to ourselves where Satan may attack. As I spoke about at camp, Satan attacked those that sheep that went way over that, man. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest one to get. I want to say something too, because we all don't get it twisted. We all come with that 
the alpha, uh, uh, you know, the lion type of mentality. The only thing about within his body, he's learning how to work together. I'm not, you know, I step on my toes, my step on your toes, everything is basically, uh, I got the script of the bag it up too. Everything is, is ran smoother as a cohesive unit, a well all machine, man. All right, this is a uh, second for Thessalonians three and one. One of my one of my favorite scriptures too. It says, "Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Most High may have free course, mm -hmm. and and by glory, even as it is with you." And the, the point is the free cor cor course part. There's nothing hindering the word. Nothing, there's nothing blocking it up. It's not. This is not a me show. Me, I. It's not that. It's yeah. free, this 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 river of living waters is a free flowing river. With no with no logs, no boulders, nothing holding up that water from flowing yeah. to to the to the other side, man. Your evil suspicion will do that though. Yeah. If you're thinking of it some type yeah, of demons. Way. Yeah, the demons, demons, right? demons on you. Yeah. The demon of doubt. The demon and Satan. Let me tell you something too, man. I'll tell you something about Satan, man. A lot of times that inner thought, the inner man talking, you talking in your head, a lot of times that be Satan. Yeah. Watch me telling you shit, man. Yeah. He the same that uh, uh, draw a scenario with you and a brother, it never even fucking happened. Yeah, it never happened. It never, never happened. even started to happen or nothing. <laughs> you you're not even looking at the brother. You looking down the fucking street, but yet you over there. You know, like I said, you see the shit on camera. You see you see guys, you know, you know, see guys looking or having an attitude, and that be like the, the demon of doubt, the demon of suspicion. Evil suspicion. Yeah, yeah. And that lies back with Satan. That lies back with demons on you, man. All right. Yeah, it calls poor judgment. Very great. What it's doing is clown your judgment. Yeah. At the end of the day, it just clown your mind up instead of having the things that are spiritual on it. It's just you just got those things which are just causing you to get irate. Well, brother, you looking at it. that come with two. You're not knowing, you're not knowing the men around you. You're not That's knowing. Two. You're not knowing what you're getting yourself into. You're not that's knowing true. the men that's before you. No, them dudes, it's not, it's not that type of time. We're not, we're not on that type of time to be warring with each other. At the end of the day, the so-called white, the fucking white man is the yeah, enemy, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not your brother, man. Yeah. All right? I'm not up here robbing you. I'm not up here sticking you up. I'm not up here manipulating you, rob, you know, stealing from you and all type of the man of wicked ass shit. It's not that type of party, man. It's not even important. It's not that even type of business. Games, business going on, man. All right. Goddamn emotional. Letting that old man, hey, letting that old man and those old feelings and thoughts and, and selfishness you have, let Satan play on that. Because right. it, it, it's easy for Satan to play on things if you got a, a ill intent in your heart already. You're not working towards actually bettering yourself. All he needs to do is pour salt on that wound to to agitate it and let it grow and grow like a damn cancer. You gotta drive away selfishness, man. Cause this truth, this truth produces a, a, a culture of uh brotherhood. Non brotherhood, non self uh, uh, non selfless selfless uh uh thing going on. It's not it's not on that type of time, man. You know? You might have been the guy that's the only child and you might talk, this is me. You don't want to you gotta learn to shift. You gotta learn to give up you, your time, your, your patience. You gotta. This is this is a whole different. It's a whole different chapter of the book of sacrificing, man. That comes with a whole lot. And you're right. And, and and a lot of you cats, man, that come out. You know, a lot of a lot of a lot of guys that come into this thing or even cross over the other side. You still de dealing with. You the guy that's still putting these high walls up with. With the with the soldiers up there ready to shoot, man, you gotta tear down the walls, man. Yeah. With the men that's on you, on 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 the side of you, man. Yeah. All right, it has to be a, a great level of respect for the man that's on the left side, the right side, in front of you, and behind you, man. Uh. But go ahead, like, like I said, you know, I guess. <laughs> <Kind of. laughs> you got it. Yeah, but yeah, bro. evil suspicion for your brother will cause you to be stagnant in the truth. Yeah. So the Lord will be like, that's nothing going on. Like, that's a damn. That's a damn. Yeah, you need to deal with that so the Lord can continue to, to uh, manifest you in the spirit, man. You know? But again, Jacob, sit on that shit. And, oh, I ain't, it, it ain't nothing. That's just an evil suspicion, man. Get that. All right? It's just all he's doing is pulling at you. All right? You got to know how to resist the devil and he will flee. All right? A suspicion 
it's the devil. You gotta learn to resist them. All right, that's it. You know, you got, you got, you got, you got it. You want to come on? Oh, go ahead. I'm trying to I think I'm on top of it though. This is uh first Corinthians one verse ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashayat, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, yeah. but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Same walk, man. All right. No agree. divisions. Huh? No divisions. Can two you. be agreed except they what? Walking together. Can and when you walk together. Can walk to together except they be agreed. Well, the, the house and the men of the Lord, I mean, we, we have no other alternative but to agree. And even if we don't agree, there are guidelines for us to go to and deal with it. Matthew 18, y'all got to agree before you go back to the altar and sacrifice. Again, Remember, I brought out earlier that uh, sacrificing, I mean, obeying, obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And at first Samuel or whatever, all right? So understanding how to how to uh, obey, all right, the things that you need to obey and stick to before you sacrifice, man, all right? You got to learn that. Hey, how do you become a teacher unless you were first a student? That's it. It's a, again, that's, it's levels, man, all right? And you can't, again, your judgment, you, your your judgment got to always be on point, man. All right? Because again, and uh, get, get, it's Proverbs on, on, I want to say 18 and 16, somewhere on that. All right? Because you again, you if your suspicion is evil, it's on an ill time. It's like an ill time. You suspecting some shit or at times. All right? Guess what your brother going to do? He going to come search your ass out. Somewhere right there. Yeah, I, I got another one. I found too. A neighbor find it his own calls. He's writing his own call. I got, yeah. I got another one. Seventeen. Now, um, I was on the way to getting another one, but I found another one I was looking for too. This is Sirach ten and six. Yeah, it's ten and six. It says, "Bear not hatred to thy neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all with injurious practices. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man." And and by and by both do it one commit iniquity, you know, and that's what that demon, that festering demon, is on uh, uh, that's in your head. It, it starts to bring forth sin, man. Yeah, sin upon sin, like you know. Mm. Yeah, that's a that's a you know that's not a part of this thing, man. You know, because uh, evil suspicion is the evil twin, the evil twin to uh, to discern it, man. Evil intent. The yeah. intent is evil. Like yeah. it's all yeah, right. it. evil, uh, evil suspicion that's, is the evil twin. It's the evil twin. It's a discretion, man. That's right. <laughs> to just just don't think you ain't thinking. No, nah, you ain't, you ain't thinking, thinking the right. And if you're not thinking right, actually you're not thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's be let's be real. Like, cause it's all about thinking right. Cause it it tell you that uh the discretion of a man, get a Proverbs 19, 11, because you're right down. Yeah. All right, since we started bringing that discretion up, but remember, if you don't have discretion, your your neighbor gonna come search your ass out and rebuke you like the elder say that that next one at eighteen gonna go with the elder say about getting rebuked when you're not using discretion. Go ahead, Art. This is a uh, Proverbs nineteen and eleven. Yep. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. Yep. And it is his glory to pass over a transgression. Right by using discretion, man. That's how you pass over transgression. Cause again, evil. Thoughts overthrow your judgment, and all it do is it get you closer to sin. If you're not sinning, but you're getting closer to it, it's like you're sinning. All right. So a brother catching you, like, look, you're suspecting that you're doing something the right way in the right manner. All right. Because you just, I, I'm a man like you. I could do this like, nah. It's, it's, no, we ain't on that type of level, man. We're a family. We're a family of men. All right. Who got different things that they do in the body, but they do it all together, man. That's it. You know, I got one in sync. Yeah, I got one for you too. Right, go ahead. This is uh this is the book of Sirach 14 and 5. It says, and this is what you know having an evil suspicion is too, man. Yeah, it says, He that is evil to himself, <laughs> whom will he do good? <laughs> My favorite read it again. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Yeah. He shall not take pleasure in good. Yeah. There is there is none worse than he that envies himself. Yeah, you yeah, and, and the evil suspicion is an envy to your own self, man. Really, you you thinking you in competition with people? You got something in your own mind 
that's not even rel relative. I mean, it's not relatively close to what the brother have in mind. You got it. You got a problem in a this altercation in your mind with something that don't even like nobody knows what's going on. All right, you hey, they talking about me on a video. No, we read scriptures. <laughs> you know, man, the scripture don't have no uh uh person um no respects a person at the end of the day. So if something get read and it affect you, all right, you having an evil, you in the you having a more food. Yeah, the shoe fits. Yeah, the shoe fitting you. You got a way. All right. No man is personally thinking about no one man. All right. And then reading the scriptures. No, the scriptures is bringing that out. So you got to deal with yeah, that. In Hebrews. The 4 and 12. I'm in the heart. Yeah. See, let me keep me reading. You got some meat in there, what you just said. Let me read it again. You got it. This is uh, Sirach 14 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He should not take pleasure in his own goods. There is none worse than he that envy himself. Evil to him, that evil. And, and blah, 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 blah. What it is? Envy in himself. Envy himself. And, and this is the recompense of his wickedness. And if he do it good, he do it good unwillingly. Yep. And at, at the last, he will declare his wickedness. The, the envious man has a, the, envy, the envious man has a, a wicked eye. Yep. He turned away his face and despised men. Yeah, that's and that's universal too. Cause they're gonna say, "What well, I'm talking about?" Eat no, that's Jake and Eat. Go ahead, I. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. Yep. And the iniquity of the wicked dried up his soul. <laughs> it says, uh, "A evil eye envied his bread, and he is a niggard at his table." That's it. <laughs> and that's what you become, man. Ben Embers having an a evil suspicion, man. All right? You thinking that, and it's again, there ain't nothing but demons tap dancing on your ass, man. Yeah, break dancing. Right? Break thing. dancing, man. One, two stepping on your ass, man. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one in Hebrews. Yeah, bring that out. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful mm. and sharper than any two-edged sword, mm -hmm. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah, the thoughts and the intents. That's what we on. Because that's all the, 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 the evil suspicion carried over. Because again, a man, a man action start in his mind. Then it's carried out, you know, through his, uh, a man thoughts start in his mind. Then it's carried out through his actions. And then your act, actions are the consequence. Start this mind is it carry out in his actions. Yeah, it came out in your actions, man. The why for the correction. All right. And then it shows where you was at in your heart. That's why men able to identify the evil suspicion that's in you, man. All right. And again, Jake make this thing personal. It's not personal. Business, man. This is business, man. This is business for you. How about Shimia was shot? All right. We all employed for the Lord as of right now. And we all trying to keep our job. So you got down right, somebody, and if any man got, yeah, all right, any integrity in him, he's going to tell your ass, you got some, your judgment is off, man. All right? The way you're measuring things is off. And you should thank that man, because he's saving you from the error of your life, man. All right? Because you could be going in the error with the judgment, with the judgment you have perceived. All right, look it out for your souls. You, uh, you may be going in error. All right, with the judgment you believe, and that's an evil suspicion, and that shit can lead you right to your death, man. All right, or it could be a detriment to you to where you can't recover, man. All right, these men are watching for your souls, man. Because again, we all get demons on us. I got it, I got it right here. Yeah, what you know on this one, he just said, I can get it real fast. Let me get yeah, it. You got it. This Proverbs 18, and I'm gonna read down because what this brother going to in Hebrews, you know, uh, it's uh, I'm gonna read down after that. Proverbs uh, uh, 18 and 14. It says, The spirit of a man yeah. will sustain his, his infirmities, but a wounded spirit who can bear it. Yeah. It says, The heart of the prudent get it knowledge, and the, in the ear of the wise seek it uh, knowledge. A man's gift make it room for him, mm -hmm. and it says, Bringing him before great men. Yeah. He that is first in his own cause is this? seem it just right and i had you all in that that proverbs 18 and 17 he that is first in his own cause seeing it just all right it seemed like it's right to you 
it's the and we get that right we all at some point when we came in this thing as younger men on the side of we we thought we like man i got i got to do it this way and that and that until the spirit the spirit correct you it's gonna choke you out all a man because when a man correcting you you gotta have faith and understand that that's the spirit of god correcting you go ahead I, what you're about to say it says but his neighbor come come in and searching him up right because what it do it correct you to get you back all right bro your judgment of so when your neighbor come and search your ass out like look bro what you thinking about all right jake won't jake won't feel some kind of way because you're reproving his thoughts but really the wicked hate when when you rebuke their thoughts he said rebuke a wise man and he gonna love you all right but if you got a problem when a man reproving you you're gonna be you're gonna come with all kind of excuses according to your will all right, you're gonna find an excuse for this, you're gonna find an excuse for that. Which you can get that next. Can as a matter of fact, go ahead. You mind if I get two Yeah, if he finished back up. If he finished what he got. Y'all got nine on you. Back up. Uh just what would you got anything you can get it out here? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get this one though. It, it jump to the side. This is uh in the same book, man. Uh Proverbs 19 and 21 says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that uh, shall stand. Yep. And show you a man, a man, he wrestled with thoughts, man. He wrestled with the sus evil suspicion. He wrestled with discernment. Yeah. And all type of shit to where there's a war going on in your mind, man. That's right. You know? And that's, and that's unhealthy, you know? Yeah. But go ahead, uh. Okay, this is uh, two quick ones in Proverbs 15. Verse, I'm going to start at verse 12. A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him. Neither will he go unto the wise. And so if you're not right from the start, you're just a scorner. Yeah. You're not going to go into the wise. Yeah. As I said, back in Enjoy. that Sirach 21, a wise man will hear a word and commend it and add unto it. But when a man that hear that word and it displeaseth him, he's going to cast it behind him. That's up for you too. Uh, and, go ahead. And ultimately, this is going to be your, your judgment for being that scorner that doesn't want to go into the wise and can't take rebuke. Proverbs 15, verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way and he that hateth reproof shall die yeah. and I, got one, <laughs> I got one to back this sure. brother up you know because it is this is a spiritual part of this because we know what the belly is this is uh another one proverbs 20 and 30 it says the blueness of a womb cleaneth away evil so do stripes the inner parts of the belly so what do you think they're talking about talking about being rebuked man all right, it, 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 you know, rebuke causing, uh, it, yeah, it, it seems like it hurt, but it's actually, it's actually healing you, man. Being rebuked, being told something, man. And the heart like, need to be told something because yeah. it's desperately wicked, right? Mm -hmm. It's desperately wicked. It, and, and we all got minds, all our minds get desperately wicked. Huh? We can't sit there and say it don't, but we understand how to, yeah, they die. This it's, is the guy, that's it, you yeah, got because that's the point. Because yeah. also, the inner parts of the belly, your, your mind is represented as the belly, it holds information, it eats, it nurtures, yeah. it yeah. takes in that nourishment, and, yeah, of, of this spiritual food, right? So, sometimes you can be off, you can be actually you be drunk, yeah, you and you got to get rebuking. Yes, there was, re was rebukes, it, it, it to the to the to the outward man, it seems yeah. like it causes stripes and blueness, yeah. but guess it, it's healing you too, though, it's making it's making. A new man is forming you and crafting you and molding you to a new man. Yeah. Rebuke is good, man. And then it, it, it does be accepted. Yeah. Only if it be accepted. <clears throat> it says the stripes of wisdom is never out of time. For right. what you're saying. Yeah. Let go with that. Yeah. 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 You got it. That's right, man. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's another one, but the, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Want that Hebrew? Yeah. The stripes of yeah. wisdom is never out of time. You read it. Oh, this at all. You read it's a different. Oh, what is it different? That watch for your soul. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bring that one up. Uh, this is a uh, Hebrews thirteen and seventeen. Obey them that have rule over you, mm -hmm. and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, but that is unprofitable for you. Yeah. Come, come. This is Hebrews thirteen verse seventeen. Obey them that have rule over you. It says obey. Obey. Yes. Yeah, obey them. Sacrifice. I don't know. They, you know, you two fucking with it, man. No, nah, it's on. It's on a regular thing. You yeah, know. but they fucking with yeah, the they fucking with it. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. But it says obey them that have what rule over you. Rule over you. And that, that goes into 
the, the, the men of the law, the men that set before you on the highways and byways, all right, giving you the giving you the this uh exhortation, these scriptures, these prophecies, all right, those are the men that you you, you have to obey because of what? Obey them that have ruled over you and submit yourselves. Man, you might to get the word submit. Submit yourselves, man. Get obey and submit. Kind of, kind of. Matter of fact. <laughs> All right. That, that reminds me of a while back, some years back. You know, Jake got all all warped in the fucking brain, man, because you know, brothers brothers called the elders the apostles masters, man. Which they are our masses, all right? Which, you know, they are our masses and we be, we are becoming masses of, of, of other men, man. All right. And you have to you have to submit yourself to them, man. In order to learn, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to learn to do this the right way, this thing about it, this truth. All right, because we all we all are subject to someone, all right, even as we are subject to Yahweh Shai, man. So you have to learn to come up under men. You have to be learned to be rebuked, being being told something, giving orders. All right, whether uh, big or small, whether this man is young, whether he's old, you have these. These are this. Like, like I said, I might have, I might have to, I might have to. Might have to the, the lesson I've been having with the brother, I might have to just make that a, a camp lesson, man, because that's a part of the. All this is a part of the process. Oh. You got, you got to take, you got, you got to able, able, you got to be able to. Basically, to uh, become under the whole process of this thing, man. This ain't just about cussing the white man out. Mm. As some men do, as some men think it's all about. And look good on camera. Yeah. On. Yeah. And nothing else behind it. This is a, this is a behind the scenes thing going on too. It's a, it's a this is a thing of, of molding and shaping your behavior too, your your mind frame too, man. What the hell you think? Uh, what you think this is, man? Oh, I, I listen to him, but I don't listen to him, though. Yeah, he pleases my flesh. He pleases yeah. my yeah. my weak ego. You know, you know, you know. We don't do that, man. You gotta learn. You gotta be learn. You gotta become a student and learn how to become under the right tutorship, the right way, man. The right sound doctrine, all right. And just the way it is, man. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, kind of. Put that obey first, right? Kind, kind. The, the, the word obey in Hebrews 13, verse 17 is Strong's G3982. I feel to be persuaded of a thing concerning a person, to listen, to obey. To what? To listen. To listen. Real quick, give me uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 5. Ecclesiastes 5, man, in the Bible. You understand, you understand, you're coming to the church, you're coming to a, a, a house already furnished, put up foundation, everything, man. So you have to you have to learn to get in where you fit in, play your part. All right. You have to you have to become you have to become like your boss, you have to become water. But you <laughs> but but coming in this thing, you have to, you have to become a sponge, man. And you gotta let that you have to let that water flow and you gotta become that sponge that soaks up and nourishes and and, and and soaks up the water, man. Find out what's going on. You just can't jump out there being rash with your mouth amongst 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 men, especially learned men. You don't just get around apostles and get them yakking off and, and men that's been in this thing. This yeah that's running your mouth. And hey, become that? a sponge, become a guy that's soaking up what they be, what they're saying, even their conduct. How they're doing things, man. How they're carrying themselves. You might be a guy, and, and most time the men, the men, they're not gonna tell you nothing. You come out there, you might come out there with a, a you might come out there, out there with dreads. You gotta let you get your feet wet first, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then over time, you'll see what's going on. Same thing with men conduct. You don't see it, men out here on this this uh radical black power shit. You gotta calm down. Yeah. You know. You can't won't fight everybody that pass, man. <laughs> uh, bucking up just for nothing, you know. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't do that, man. Kind of. Go ahead. To listen. Well, it says what? To listen to. To listen to. Like we all said, you got two ears and you got two ears and one mouth for a reason. Go ahead. To obey. Yield to. What? Yield to. Yield to, man. Comply with. Comply with, man. That's for the word obey right there. Now get the word uh 
What it was? Submit. Submit, man. Kind of, kind of. I got to please ass before you order the Lord. Like I said, we all, we, once you become a a, 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 a student, man, and, and, and understand your role of being a student, you have to, you have to submit, man. You got to play your role. Yeah, you got to play your role, man. It's a job. That position, we hire you. The law hired you for that position. Like, you got to play that position. Okay. Until promotions come through, all right? Yeah, if they promotion. don't come through, you keep working the position you got. That's that's it. Just utilize that talent you got and be thankful that's that out of, the, out of the billions of Israelites on the planet, you've been given the, the you've been given the privilege of, of being able to have the spirit to understand. For real. This is strong for the word submit. This is Strong's. <laughs> I gotta get one. Okay. This is what you brother just said. This is uh Proverbs. I've been proverbing it out, man. Proverbs 25 and 6. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king and stand not in the place of great men. It says, For better is it that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, then that then thou should shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom whom thy eyes have seen man you know it's, it's better to be asked hey for a better like you know this is another position yeah and, and ask to be uh hey come in come up up here, you know? that you working yeah i mean you putting in the work yeah. come up here then, then to be up there and they tell you go down yeah. there for somebody yeah. go sit down there. Yeah. and then you young man down there you come up yeah like, who told him to come up yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's right. I, I got one to back up. I actually read it yesterday. Yeah, one more. Okay. I think I read that it yesterday. It, it says, "Go verse eight. It says, "Go not forth hasty to strife, least thou know it not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor has put thee to shame." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got that evil suspicion, and when you you know go sit by the elders, I know y'all brothers always talk about it, and you know y'all brothers who've been in. Uh, it was a. Uh, the brother from Texas or whatever, he, yes. he went kept sent by the elders or something. Yeah. And the Passover. Yeah. Uh, I forgot his name. Helmet. Yeah. He, they say he was like he was sitting way at the front on the Passover. Right. Like what you know, what like what you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just take your seat at the back and chill. Yeah, you know, and if, if they call you up, then you go up, you know? Right, man. You know, it's 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 a it's a fine line to this thing, man. You know? Go ahead, I this is a uh, real quick Sirach 32 and 9. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Huh? Yeah, man. You should be soaking up as a sponge around around men. Like I say, you know, I said it, I said it back in Atlanta. Remember? And one thing about a one other thing about a, a great leader, a great teacher, all right. He's always teaching. Even when he's not teaching, he's teaching, man. You know, even when he's not teaching, he's teaching. Yeah. And it takes you as a student to soak up what he's saying, how his conduct is, and the Jews that he's dropping that's coming out of his mouth, man. All right? When you're from around Pastor Ricard, you best believe he's dropping Jews. He's, he, his behavior is teaching. All right? You're around uh, Pastor Tahoe. Pastor Ramla, the boy, you name him, man. He, you know, he did different men. Even on these, even on these epistles, man. You watch these brothers from these different states. The elder, the elder brother in California, elder Malcolm, you know, elder, uh, the elders out there in Texas, whether it be all in Houston, whether it be uh, up there in Dallas, everywhere, man. You take, you take, you take. That's how you learn, man. By watching these, these are the greatest. These two right here is some of the greatest. Well, <laughs> when you learn to shed them and you learn to keep them open, you know, these two and these two and keeping this one locked down, man. That's what. what is, read that one to five. I told you. This is Ecclesiastes five and one. It says, "Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of our power." Yeah, keep thy foot. You know, when you come into the house of the Lord, when you a God on the side or whatever, and you just a young man coming in. You gotta learn to keep your foot, learn to keep your mouth closed, learn to just soak up, man. Go ahead. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Yeah, you gotta be more ready to hear. All right. That's how you learn. That's how one one learn, man. 
know, you, you learn by listening, you learn by going to study, and you find out information, you go seek information, and then when you can't find the information fully, you go ask men before you. Hey, I try I read a hey, I try to look this up. Can you show me what is where else I can get the rest of the information from? And that's how you learn, man. You all right, boy. For they consider not that they do evil. Right. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before our power. For our power is in heaven and thou upon earth. Yeah, this is a serious thing. This is a, this is the Lord's temple, man, his church. All right. When we are down the highways and byways, that's the altar, man. And we're presenting ourselves as a sacrifice. That's a real serious occasion, man. That's a that's a Solomon ceremony. Really? It's a uh -huh. real true altar out there, man. Uh -huh. You know? And we do we hurt some rights of that. That's what we out there doing. You know, these men that sit before you, they're, they're not here to play. They're not here to 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 uh to wrestle with it and, and play games with, man. This is serious. All right, with this information that we're telling you, this exhortation, all right, these prophecies that we tell you, this series, this ain't nothing to play with. This is actual cancer series, man. You know, real life series, serious business, man. Go ahead, I. That's why the Lord wants you to obey before you start sacrificing. Yep, yeah, you got to submit yourself. Yeah, you got to be obedient. You got to come under the rule. Find that one, find that one real quick. Well, it's in the pocket, but though, it's. I mean, they tell you about how, how a son must come up. You must, you must break a son like a horse, you know? Yeah. You know? And that, and that applies to all of us, man. Coming out of the, coming out of the, you know, the elders, or, you know, coming out of this, this troop, man. I'm like, how about y'all shot? You got to be broken first, man. Because mm -hmm. what happens with a horse that's not broken? It, it's bucking. It don't yeah. want to sell on its back. Done to it as well. Yeah, it don't want the, the, the what do you call it in the mouth? The, the, bit, the bit? The bit, yeah. Yeah, the net is like the net of the bull. It's like the net yeah, 30, uh, eight. It's like the net that go on a bull. He gonna jump the fuck around everywhere, man. Cause he don't want it on. Uh seven. Okay. This is a uh, Sirach 30 verse 7. He that maketh too much of his son shall bind up his wounds. And his bowels will be troubled at every cry. Good. Verse 8. And a horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. That's what happens when you... What happens? Evil suspicion, man. Yeah. Being left alone, willfully. Yeah. You need somebody... You need no a guy. counsel. You yeah. ain't getting no counsel for nothing. You're counseling yourself. Yeah. If you ain't getting counsel from a man, right. that's why you got to be taught. If you ain't getting counsel from a man, then you that means you going off your own counsel, man. Yeah. And I gotta, got something for that right here. You gotta be broken like a yeah. horse, man. Cause we because it go this whole thing from one down to eight is talking about an actual son. And we're we're sons of the power. We had to we had in order for us to get this 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 knowledge, we had to be broken yeah. from the ways of the world, the, the different habits of the world, the thoughts of the world. You gotta get broken down, man. And when you and the greatest thing about being rebuked, you get yeah, you get broken down. And guess what, brothers? Build you back up yeah. the right way, man. You like that house? You like that house? The Lord talks about the Deuteronomy that it's all molded, it's all you know, it's all uh, contaminated with, with with mold, man. You got to get torn down, all right. That fire got to hit you, which is the rebuke, and you got to be you got to be built back up on a on a solid foundation with no mold, all right. Well, you got to be fucking. You got to trust the process of that, man. Um, trusting that, I mean, the trusting that's also going into trusting in the Lord. You gotta have faith in the process. Damn, I'm getting rebuked. They chewing my ass out. But you gotta look at you. A guy that has no vision don't see the other side of that. I'm looking forward to becoming a better man. You know? Go ahead, I. Verse nine. Yeah, three verse nine. I. Hocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Mm -hmm. Lay with him. Hey, be being. Cool, me and a hey, we kind this, 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 this is a, a chicken and beer kind of event. Yeah, yeah it's not chicken and beer. This is yeah. not, it's not the homeboys, man. Yeah, all right. This is not for the ladies. <laughs> all right. That's 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 the hell of a car, you know. Go ahead, I cock of thy child, and he shall and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Yeah, man. And they can it just being a not a not an asset to the camp of the body. You're just a cancer dragging everything down and building up those spiritual dams, not allowing the the, the words 
the words and the spirit to flow through and just didn't become a problem until you get cut off the body. Yeah, man. Out and just making problems, starting shit for no reason, just being a, a straight demon. Yeah. In the spirit of doing shit. You don't want to be that guy, man. Go ahead. You in the spirit of just doing it out of your way as, man. Yeah. It's not nah, Burger King. It's, this is the Lord's way, man. Get in line. This is Rock 32. And uh, I'm going to read uh, 14. But I'm going to jump down. Okay. It says, Whoso feared the Lord will receive his discipline, as the elder been saying, right? That they shall seek, and they that seek him early shall find favor. But let me get to the point down here. It says, uh, I keep reading now. He that seeketh the Lord shall be filled up with, but the hypocrite will be offended that. All right. And most men, if you're offended at the law, you're offended at order. Because that's really what the law is it's order, establishment, it's a constitution. All right. So if you're offended, the law, you're gonna do things that's unlawful. You're gonna believe it's lawful, but you're in a you're in an unlawful state, but you don't know what's going on, man. It says, They that fear the Lord shall find judgment and shall kindle justice as a light. But if you have an evil suspicion, that's gonna overthrow your judgment, man. It says a light as, as a way to uh direct you too. It says a sinful man will not be reproved, but find that an excuse according to his will. And there are a lot of men, when you get into that evil, you know, mindset, you're going to try to find an excuse according to your will. Oh, I ain't like that. Oh, that ain't me. See, I do it like this. Oh, me. Like, oh, that, yeah, it's me. Like, you got to watch that me spirit because, because you know, because I see it like this or the eye, the me thing. It says uh, a man of counsel will be considerate, but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. Even when of himself, he had done without counsel. So even when you don't, when you reject counsel, all right, of men who are, who are giving you the way on how to do things, how to properly do things according to righteousness, all right, you go your own way. And even with your own way, you don't really counsel with that. You just follow your heart straight away. That's why it says, do nothing without advice. And when thou has once done, repent not. So the Lord like, look, if you won't advise yourself to do whatever, don't repent after you did it either. In other words, continue to go on with your own counsel you had. Saying that you the judge or you got the judgment of the Lord. Jump to 33, start at 3, and read down to 6. Come. Let me, let me, let me go to this last one. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall and stumble, not among the stones, and be not confident in a plain way. Yep. Jump to 33. Read three and read down to six, man. So rock thirty three and three. Man. A man of understanding trusted in the law, and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. Yeah, the first principle, meaning what the principal things that oracle. Prepare what to say, and so thou shalt be heard. And bind up instructions, and bind then up. make a, 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 a what, and then make answer. Bind up instructions. Bind it up. Get it. Yeah, tie. Bind means to tie to you, man. All right, it says the heart of the foolish is like a cartwheel, it's all over the place, and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. And it a cartwheel or a rolling axle tree, when you roll it, it's just, it's just rolling, it's just gone, man. Mm -hmm. It's just tumbling, like it's, it's you know, it falls up, yeah. <laughs> bam, bam, and, um, uh, the Flintstone, they just run out of the car, it's gone, man. It says a staring horse is a mocking friend. He he led under everyone that's sitting in the phone, man. Yeah. All over the place. You know, we know a stallion, because going back to that horse, a stallion horse is a wild horse, man. Yeah. They just run wild. They just can't be tamed, man. You know? Yeah, you gotta check your approach, man. Then when somebody get on them, they buck. You know? <laughs> yeah, they nay. Yeah, they nay. You know? Yeah. You don't wanna be that. Yeah, Jake don't know how to hold fast to. To, to this thing. This Job 27 to 6. It says, My righteousness I hold fast and will not let it go. And this is what Jay got to do, man. Right here, this is important. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live, man. All right? To have an evil suspicion, that means your heart has reproached you, right? Yeah. <laughs> that means your heart is working against you. Yeah. All right? Your heart is your spirit. You can't go against the spirit. You can't be kicking and fighting against the spirit. Um, uh, of uh, uh quench it say quench not the spirit and again if the men around you you believe they have the spirit and you truly believe that 
then you will get in line out with the spirit. All right. One who's not doing it with fear, he don't know how to get in line with the spirit. All right. He don't know how to track the spirit. It's nothing spiritual about you. And the Lord ain't personally coming to, to you with no goddamn revelations either, man. All right. The Lord ain't, I, when the Lord came to you with a revelation, when you, you, you was in your car coming over here? Yeah. I ain't coming out with no revelation, man. I heard the word by me. And we're talking about him. By me, man. I got the word of the Lord coming through me, man. All right. The Lord ain't giving you no fucking revelations, man. Now, again, young men dream visions and different things like that. We get that. But I'm talking about the Lord personally coming to you and dealing with you. Come on, man. Opening the seals and you. Open the seals. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something special within you. Man, come on, man. Yeah, because at the end of the day, starting off a relationship with the Lord, the Lord don't tell you all the secrets, man. It's fact. You know, learn to build a relationship. You man, know? Wisdom. It, 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 it tries a man is, is a heavy, roughly paraphrased, like a heavy stone and fetters on it to try him and see if he's, he's worthy of it. And then, as you sup it, hey, yeah. more and more is given to you. Job 20 and 3. Two, therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, for this I will make haste. This is the point. I have heard the check of my reproach. And again, when a man reproving you, all right, and trying to reproach you, or whatever the case may be, it's for your own good. You got to hear the check of it. A lot of men don't want to get checked, man. All right? Man, I, 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 man, I, I, you figure I'm doing it like this, man. No, you got to hear the check of your reproach, man. Because remember, the Lord has sent men to you and then the Lord will get on your ass. All right? Like, all right, you're, you, all right, you're going to rebel against, all right? So you don't you hear my word through these men? Oh, well, they just men. All right. Well, I'm coming now. All right? It says, I have heard the check of my reproach and the spirit of my understanding caused me to answer. And that's how you answer your spirit, man. When you hear the check of your reproach, man. When the Lord has put you here, you know, put a, put a, look. I'm doing this to you. Do you understand what I'm doing? All right, I'm working this way. All right, don't go go against the river, man. Just go with the program. You and see? It reminds me of a scene from uh, Inglorious Bastards where they were trying to sneak into a Nazi party, and the the only guy who spoke Italian got killed. And these these American salt spies didn't know how to speak Italian, so they were asking, him, "Well, how much do you know?" Oh, I know it the most. He knows it the second most, and the third guy knows it the least. And the third guy was like, I don't speak any Italian. He's like, yeah, just keep your fucking mouth shut. Yeah, that's it. Jim, just keep your fucking mouth shut and listen. That's it. Yeah. This is, uh, this is still at six and about uh, 32. I'm going to read down to the end. It says, my son, if thou will, thou should be taught. And if thou will apply thy mind, thou should be prudent. Uh -huh. if if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou uh, uh, bow, uh, bow thy ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of thy, of the elders and cleave unto, unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every good discourse. Godly. And, huh? Godly. Godly. Oh, godly. Oh, my bad. Godly dis discourse. My bad. And it says, let not the Parables of the un, my bad. The parable of the understanding escape thee. Mm -hmm. Parables of the un understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, uh, get get thee, yeah. be time him, blah blah blah, be be blah, 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 be time, be time yeah. unto him. Yep. And let thy foot, let thy uh, foot wear out the steps of his door. Mm -hmm. It says, if thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord. And meditate continually in his commandments, he shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom in thy own desire. Go mm ahead. -hmm. Oh, yeah. man. And that's it. Follow behind a man, counsel with a man who got, who know, uh, to be continually with a godly man whom you know to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All right. Again, a lot of men say they believe in men, but they can't follow men. All right. It's like, what, like, what is it? All right, you think because you following a man that don't make you a man, and Jay got a man complex in the earth, man. When you ain't dealing with regular men, I always tell these brothers all the time, you dealing with men who are sharp. You dealing with the greatest minds on the planet Earth, because if we got this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, nobody has a greater not. There's no other greater knowledge on the earth. 
So even though rather the men look like they're the greatest men on the planet or not, that matters nothing. All right. The, the understanding, the wisdom and the knowledge declares that, man. All right. So it's, you got to know who you are amongst, man, who you consulting with. Real quick, so rock 37 and 10. Consult not with one that suspected thee and hide thy counsel from such as envy thee. Now, if you're a sus suspect, <laughs> you're a suspect out here, all right? Your judgment always getting overthrown. Ain't nobody going to consult with you, man. All right? What you got? What they doing in the comment book? Is and you going to hide, uh, you going to hide, uh, uh, not a uh, man to hide their counsel from you, man. Yeah, brother's got, brother's getting busy on them. My bad. Yeah. It says, uh, don't even consult with an envious man of, of thankfulness. <laughs> like, because he ain't gonna eat envious. So he ain't gonna even be thankful for you. He gonna come to get wisdom and knowledge from you and then try to go and do it his own way. Mm -hmm. You know, it said don't even consult with him at all. Like, don't deal with no matters with him. Like, go do your own thing. And then when you fall on your face, don't come back. Don't repent. That's why I say. When you have once done, don't repent not. In other words, like, no, stand on what you said. Thank you, believe it. You made it work out for you. You made your decision like a man, so you got to handle the consequences. You got to stand like on that business, man. You got to stand on that goddamn business. You know? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Bring it out. This is Proverbs. the precept coming. Kind of, you got the phone. Dude. This is Proverbs 15 and 22. Okay. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Yep. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Con, read that again. Uh, Con, this is Proverbs five. 15, verse 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Hey, read two, round two. Con, con. You got it, please. Hey, it, it speaks for itself. Without counsel, a late leaning under your own vain understandings. Your purposes are disappointed, as as you were just saying. A, 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 a envious man just gets the words, gets gets the understanding, but deceitfully to go do his own thing and falls on his face. Yeah. Hey, is disappointed and going. You got me that uh that the elder, you know that uh, elder, a walk that taught what his name uh, and I should be care or whatever. Uh, so Captain, 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 yeah, yeah, Captain. Now look. Well, go ahead. It says his purposes are, are, are disappointed. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead. I got it. Hey, and and just to go back, go back to that Sirach three real quick. So that in twenty four, uh, twenty seven, twenty seven. I'll just yeah to keep going. <laughs> but I don't want to butcher anything. Yeah, read twelve. Without counsels, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. I'm going to back up real fast. This is uh, Sirach 37 and 16. It says, let reason, do, let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. A point blank period. Let, let counsel go before every action. If you, if you, if it's, it's been, so it's such a blessing to, to have been in, in been in a place where a camp was already set up. You didn't have to go out there and be a, be a, be a one man camp like some brothers have had to do you got the house and the body already established you've got men that have been laboring on the block that have gone through uh, life life experiences that can help you out on a multitude of situations you got them to go and get counsel from specifically and that can that can lead you on the straight path but all you got to do is, is get out of the way of your own ass and and, and be humble and, and realize that these men were set up by yahweh by hashem yahweh shah and, and that'll That'll lead you, that'll lead you, keep, keep you on that straight, narrow path. But when you want to lean on your own understanding, you're going to go into that way that, that, that perisheth. Yeah, you get anxious. And once you get anxious, you start making mistakes, man. Any man starts speeding and, and trying to speed shit up, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to miss shit, man. Mm -hmm. You're not going to cover all your tracks. Proverbs 15 and 12. A scorner love it not one that reproving him and <laughs> keep him on track. Neither will he go into the wise. And out again. <laughs> yeah, right again. Ten. Or ten, 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 ten two. <laughs> Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. There you go. Hey, not taking heed to those counselors, so your way is going to be disappointed, and this is going to be your ultimate judgment. And he that hateth reproof shall die. That's right, man. That's, and that's right, bro. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, songs. 
Like you said, I know we've been going a minute. I had I had some accounts to really go into, but we up the you know the point we made. This song's 141 and five. Y'all better kind of want to bring something up. I know we can kind of get around to the rebuking part, but maybe yeah, we can, good. It's all good. Yeah, we could make it. We sit in the middle of it, you know. Con, con, con. No. To lock it. Yeah, we can make it. Yeah, this Ecclesiastes is 7 and 17. My bad. This is, uh... You should, that's something. Yeah, I still gotta get, finish that. You probably get that over. It know? says, be not... Put it up. I was surrounded... Uh, Ecclesi- my bad. Ecclesiastes in the Bible, 7 and 16. It says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? All right, because they again, you know, why would you destroy yourself? Wanna, you know, wanna be so wise and remember that much wisdom is much grief. So really, what they have you to do, it, you know, it make you want to put sackcloth on more or less than you know, and store because it's a treasure of wisdom, not hiding. It, but as you getting it, you know, you you get more, you know, uh, humility on you get face to the earth. You like, God damn, bro, I ain't know this, I didn't know that, and then we. You know, we young men, uh, we study uh, finding out things. I'm studying getting corrected and, you know, finding out more things and brother bringing out more, you know, precepts and videos. And you study getting edifying, getting built up. So this is an ongoing thing. So there's really no place for you to get profit. Saying you don't know, if you don't know the whole scripture, you can't, if you don't know every word, every scripture, every breakdown of everything that deal with history and everything, you can't be profit. Like, think about it. You don't know everything. You can't be profitable. And even with knowing everything, all right, the more you know, the less profitable you are. You got Hey, you got to constantly be coming in that spirit of being as a child. Yep. And a child that's this willing to hear new things and learn them. And you should you should really be in that spirit. And when you hear new things, it's like not only does it humble you, but you you're excited to hear something new that's been that's been taught to you and that you're able to understand. Right. And should some of milk scriptures that we go over all the time, like I'll go over it again. And I'm still taken aback by it and just in, 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 in awe by it. You should constantly just be in that humble, humble, always, always wanting to learn spirit and, and just add it to your arsenal and, and just becoming a better asset to the body. That's right. Can't get around that, man. So again, that's crazy. Cabal put that one for the one and five of the actually had that. I'm going to read that. It says, let the righteous smite me. Huh? With, he got all right, come. Yeah, kind of. It says, let the righteous smite me, it shall be be a kindness. And a lot of men, again, we believe that, starting with the apostles and elders, that the spirit of the Lord is working with those men to deliver the word down to us younger men. We believe that through the spirit, all right? And again, if you don't even, you ain't giving double honors to the elders, you know, sincerely and actually, and the way that you honor the elders is to actually do the work that they have, been uh you know through the spirit of the lord have been given unto them to give unto us that's how you honor them, man mm-hmm. you honor man in in, in their works man you know when they told you the way the foundation that's, that's how it. you do it bro oh, man. that's how you do it not just saying they double honor to the elders and that all right just you know be a demon yeah. it's not it's what you do probably can teach you with a teach with a goddamn t-shirt on man yeah and fringes and shit you set it up you, you teach with the camera you teach with the the stick you know, the signs, the garment on, down to the foot. Yeah. That's how you teach, man. Yeah. The way that it was taught before you, you know, of our of our spiritual parents, man. All right? You get you get a reader, you get a you get another reader, you get a guy who will post. And, and you establish that, man. And you put the stick in front of you. Yeah. And, and you, 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 you continue to read it. Yeah. You continue to teach consistently. Yeah. All right. Rain, sleep, snow, hell, whatever the fuck, man. You that's how you teach. Um, you find you find you a populated area, man. If if, if you can, if it be, you know, if be, if you can, you, you you know, you find you a decent area and you preach unto the wind. You so teach. be it, man. That's right. It says, and let him. It says, let the righteous smite me; it shall be a kindness. I said that. Oh my bad. I want to read it again, but I said it because you got guys that go into hiding, man. All right, you in the, you you in the back parking lot of Home Depot by the dumpster, man. <laughs> Of the fucking shipping and, and receiving area, man. You can see people in the back looking. What, yeah. what the fuck are you doing back here? You're in the back of the store, man. I highlighted jacket off. Yeah. You know? 
you you know you you want to be seen amongst you know the nations, man. If you if you can have it, you know some birds may be in a town. It just a, <laughs> there's no nobody. There's nobody a, a walking. One horse town. Yeah, man. you know you can see the tumbleweed rolling oh, shit. It be, but if, if you somewhere where you can be, you 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 go you go to build yourself up. You go to preach your how shot, man. And show yourself to the world. Yeah. I said, the, you know, if you're teaching, like, show you, John 7 and 4, you got to show yourself, bro. Yeah, man. Why did you catch you, you, you? You're scared to show yourself amongst men. You're scared to put on that garment. You're scared to, you're scared to be in the chief place of concourse, which is downtown. All right? Here. Yeah. And it, it's, it's downtown. All right? It's not it's not the back of uh, rooms to go. All right? No, it's not the fucking the uh the deep thicket of the park by the waterfall where the seagulls be at, man. You all right, you teach in the populated areas, man, where all nations the market can't find you. Don't go all right, and you will and deal in these scriptures, man. That's an evil suspicion, though. Yeah, I shouldn't have you to won't go on the side and look around and in the dark. Yeah, I shouldn't have to I should have to get on the on the magazine and find where the father with the stripes. I'm trying to get the mic of where where to find you at, man. My bad. My bad. It says, let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness. And let him reprove me, it shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head. <laughs> Meaning what? I, 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 <laughs> that, it's crazy that brother had that on there. Like, look at that. Psalm 140, it, it, But you know, through the spirit, the Lord had a lot of things come out. But it shall be an excellent oil which builds you up, man. The reproof and the things that men are telling you is for the watch after your soul. We are telling the man to do the things the right way because we know we gonna be held accountable for the Lord if we send a man off, man. You see, if we send a man off or not in the direction of righteousness, and, uh, we don't we don't have to uh be a these for things shall yeah. be in the kingdom of heaven. Be held accountable for that. So we gonna teach a man the right way. But when you take what somebody taught you. And do it however way you want to go. That's on your body. You got it, bro. You can pray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm reading read oh, Hebrews 13 and 17, and we already got the word obeying the strongs. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. And who who ultimately, because we, we have a structure. Give account to the apostles. Also, give account to God by Shah Shah, man, for the watching of your soul. Because really and truly, you know, there has an order set up ultimately, too, man. It's my job and your job to hope to get me on the chair. It's my job to hope to get you on the chair, man. Mm -hmm. but, but, but structure, the, the leadership that's set up, they'll watch for your souls, man. They can, you know, birds, birds have been around. This ain't no, this ain't no first time thing. Birds can see something wrong with the bird. Okay, the bird are all. The brother got something going on. There are different things set in place, you know, structure wise. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That they may do it with joy and not with grief. Yeah, we do this with joy. We do this with all joy, man. You know, we we make statements like we tired of going out there preaching to you, man. But I'm gonna be ready to go. Yeah, but we find joy. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go though, man. When it's time, we know we know we get we know what to do. We got that face on. Yeah, Let's get it. Teach, man. Yeah, we know. Go ahead. Right, bro. For that is unprofitable for you. Yeah, without grief. We don't do it with Greeks, man. We don't do it. Oh, I gotta go downtown again. Oh, I gotta I gotta be amongst these guys again. Nah, man. Well, actually, shit, when birds be going away, birds come back. I mean, when I say going away, I mean to another city for a couple of days, birds be happy to see each other, man. <laughs> Saturday to Saturday, you happy to see birds. You happy to hear from birds during the weekend. They I mean, like I said, they, they don't think that goes on, man. They think we just, some guys just meet up, and that's just it, man. Because clock in, clock out, and go yeah. home and, and 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 watch watch Netflix. It should be it's weird, though. Man. When you were brothers and you ain't been around, because that's the same way with Jake. If he got a woman and he ain't been around his woman in a while, it's going to feel weird to him. Yeah. He get, you know, if it's been he go to jail for some time or, you know, he go yeah. on a long trip, yeah. it's going to feel weird if you're always around him. Same thing with brothers. You know, his brother tell you, hey, man, I... I was feeling weird, but I was, you know, all but I was, you know, in a way, meaning in the sense that what you won't be around, brothers, camp and shit, you know, 
you know that you missed that. Like, damn, man, I, yeah, I wish I was there. You know, I felt some kind of way. Well, you know what? Yeah, you know the spirit, bro. Uh, you know? And this is that word submit in that Hebrews 13 and 17 in the Strong's. Strong's G5226. Pico to resist no longer, but to give way, yield, metaphor, to yield to authority and admonition, to submit. <laughs> That's plain, man. Uh, anything in the lexicon? Pretty much the same thing. All right. Yeah, submit. You got to submit, man. All right. Stop, stop fighting. Sometimes you think, oh, no, they be fighting the spirit, man. Uh, you know, but thank that spirit with them, working yeah. with them, man. You yeah. battling them, yeah. you battling, man. Hey, in the in the strongest definition, to yield, to be weak, to surrender, submit yourself. Surrender. You gotta learn to surrender, man. So surrender to the Yahweh Shad, man. If it, in hopes the Lord may give you so fear, all right? Or this woman wisdom. If I could say, with that word weak being being submit to be in a position of weakness and understand, look, I. I can't do it by myself and I don't I don't have the knowledge like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start over, man. But be weak and humble and get like you were saying earlier, get broken down just to get built back up and be stronger. Right, man. That's right, man. We all have to at some point have to be broken down. You know, when you when you was a and I proved I don't like to bring out myself. I don't know about you brothers out there, but when you when you found apostles and you found out this word, you got cut. Whether you was eating, when you eating bologna, pork chops, you got fucking cut with these scriptures, man. Uh, Your conduct, you might have been a, a habitual adulterer. You got cut, man. And that, by being cut, you learn to submit. Okay, well, I did that wrong. Where's the right way how to do this? And you start over. <clears throat> All right, you start over in, 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 in the dealings of Yahweh Shem and Shai, becoming that, 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 that child, man. Because we always go into that. A child is what? A, like a blank canvas. God. You start over and you build from that. All right? And the Lord is with you. The Lord builds you back up. All right? And then on top of that, the body builds you back up by rebuke. All right? Taking, taking, uh, being submitted to rebuke. And that's a part of the growth of this thing. That's a part of you growing as a man. It, it, it hurts, but it feels so good. All right? Oh Rebuke hurts, but it feels so good at the same time, man. Go ahead. Uh. That was it. Yeah, yeah. You get us out of here. Huh? Hey, you know, you know, Abu Zion, that was that a fine man. And again, that's the essential part of judgment. How pivotal it is, man. Because again, it would it'll be to your detriment, man, for you to make some judgments, all right, and it and it backfire you on you, man, and ultimately have you by the father with your head down in confusion. All right, you want your judgment to be able to get you to the chariots. Well, brothers get on chariots, you know, get on the chariots as well. All right. And he that he he that saved his soul, he that win his souls is wise. All right. So but let again, how you win souls and then lose your own. Uh call yourself trying to win souls by trying to take your judgment into your own hand and do whatever you want to do and then lose it, man. All right. Allow judgment to be in righteousness, man, and just be there, uh, you know, stay there with, with it, man. You know, stick with it. Stick with the procedure. Take patience with your sufferings, man. And the Lord going, you know, in the end, you're going to be uh, exalted, man. You know? Hey, I'll be because right. Two examples. The guy in Maccabees, he had all good intentions to, to war. He went he went on his own and did what? Stuck that, stuck that elephant, man. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, and what happened? He got crushed. And died. What that's in Maccabee? Yes, in Maccabee. Yeah, come. The guy, the guy with the uh, he wanted to get a name for himself. Yeah, yeah. And the other, the other one come to my mind is the example of the guy that had the uh, the Ark of the Covenant. When the Ark of the Covenant went to slide down, yeah, yeah, all good intentions on catching that Ark. I didn't want it to fall. Yeah, but what happened? The Lord put his ass to death, man. Right. You can have the good intentions, but what? You can have all good intentions, man. And still be wrong. That you know? evil suspicion it overthrew your judgment. Yeah, man. Because if they got you killed, that was that it's what you suspected, it became an ill time to you. Yeah. Because it cost you, man. You know? Yeah, man. Yep. That was so, good.
So hey, you know, I'll again, I'll you know, I'll write this out. Was that a fine to you, I can man? And you, you, you brothers can utilize it as well, and as we, you know, it apply to us first. All right, we got to make sure our, uh, you know, uh, judgment is not overthrown by you know lack of discretion, you know, the lack thereof. So Abu Rakazad is a fine man. He won't give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh by Shabbat by The minds and the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Tell attention to the items that's put to the series. Till next time, we'll see Shalom. Shalom.